Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shots by Pat. And most recently, I took a trip to Houston. I'm going to show you guys what's in my camera bag. I guess you could call it what's in my camera bag, the Houston edition. Now this trip to Houston was a quick shoot. It was a Friday to Sunday. I left Friday morning, left New York Friday morning and got in there Friday morning, Houston time, and I left Sunday afternoon. This was a trip to take care of a maternity shoot and a baby shower. And in this episode, I'm gonna tell you everything that I brought with me from the bag to all the accessories. So first thing is the bag. It is the PGY Tech One Mold 25 liter bag. Everything you heard about this bag, it is completely true. It is big, it is spacious, it is modular. Modular meaning you can change around the things on the inside. Such a great bag. I'm not gonna go into the bag itself because everything, like I said, that you've heard about this bag is 110% accurate. I wouldn't even do it justice talking about this bag. But the main reason why I brought this bag instead of my regular brevity bag is because I wanted to carry more stuff. And I was about to put some of my clothing in there because the bag is that big, but I decided not to. And I'll tell you why. Now, what's in the bag? So first thing I brought with me was my iPad mini 6. Just like the one more 25 liter bag, everything you heard about the iPad mini 6 from every review that you've seen online up till now, it is accurate. So I really don't need to go into why I bought the iPad mini 6 or the specs of the iPad mini 6. But what I will say is I use this on the airplane while I was watching movies. I downloaded a few movies on Netflix. I watched Traffic and I watched Takers, if I'm not mistaken. That was a great movie, by the way. I love Takers. Um, but yeah, so I watched that movie on the airplane going back and forth, and I also used it to watch movies while I was at my brother's crib. Not that he didn't have cable, because he did, but I just wanted to be to myself on the couch wherever I was sleeping at, and I just happened to use the, the iPad Mini 6 to just go through certain things. I also used it to go through certain poses and photo shoot ideas while I'm on the shoot for the maternity shoot. Next thing is, even though I do have an Apple Pencil, I bought the Banks Apple Pencil with me instead. Now the Banks Apple Pencil was just my alternative because I didn't want to go out to Houston and for some reason or another lose my Apple Pencil because my Apple Pencil is very important to me. I keep the Apple Pencil on my iPad Pro for when I'm working here in the house or in the crib or in the lab. But I bought the Banks with me because I wanted to be able to jot down some notes while I was on the airplane if anything came to mind and I wanted to write down my shot list before I did the shoot. So this is why I bought the Banks pencil instead of the regular Apple pencil. It attaches right on the side of the iPad mini, just like the Apple pencil. Except for the fact that it says Apple on Apple pencil on the side of the Apple pencil, you wouldn't even know the difference. Now the camera I used to shoot with was my Nikon D850. Now this is a workhorse of a camera. I really hate that term. It's like the workhorse and everything I throw at is the biggest saying that you hear on YouTube or I'm rocking with. But anyway, I took my Nikon D850. Yes, it is a DSLR. It is a heavier camera. But the reason why I bought it is because I know it is tried and true. It will get the job done. It was crisp. All the images came out flawlessly perfect. And I didn't have to do much editing for either the shoot or the baby shower. I love doing what I do, and I do have a few mirrorless cameras, but for whatever reason, I'm always going back to my Nikon D850. That is my baby. That is the one camera that I know for a fact that if I bring it out with me, low light, super light, no light, it's going to get the job done. Next thing I bought with me was my Godox Flash. The 6650 9, if I'm not mistaken. 
And I brought that with me because I did not know how well lit the venue would be. If it was gonna be daylight, sunlight, natural light. So I brought that with me and I used it, a bounce, to bounce the light off of the ceiling. That's why the pictures that I took from this event came out so amazing. Everything was crisp and clear like it needed to be. So this is why I bought my Godox flash instead of any other flash that I had with me. I was gonna get a tripod and have everything working remotely, but I decided this save a little trouble, stack it onto the camera, shoot from there. If I needed to shoot it at the subject, point it down, shoot it at the subject, and I'm good to go. Either way, this Godox flash was amazing and it worked very well with what I needed to work with. Next up is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod Pro. Now the Mantis Pod is something that I use. I knew I wasn't gonna use it enough, like I didn't need to stack it up or put it anywhere to do any type of tripod work, but I brought it with me because I wanted to take a little bit of video while I did this maternity shoot and while I did the baby shower. So what I did was I tucked the longer end of it underneath my, underneath my armpit or I stuck it onto my chest so when I was walking around with it, it stabilized the camera while I was taking and shooting video. So that's the main reason why I bought the Mantis Pro with me. I was saying to myself, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Now I was gonna bring my Nikon Z30 and a MacBook Air to do some editing, but I decided not to. I already had the Mac Mini with me. It made no sense to carry the MacBook Air with me because I was not doing any type of editing and I didn't need it for anything other than what I would use it for. But what I did though was bring the brand new PGY Tech card reader card holder. Don't know the correct name for it, but it still is something great. So I bought this with me to keep my cards with me. And if I needed to do any type of editing, quick editing on my phone or quick editing on the iPad, I just plug it right into the phone or to the iPad with Lightroom already installed on it. If I wanted to do something quick, just so my clients could see some of the work that I produced from that day, but I didn't need to, so it's all good. Last but not least, I brought with me my iPod, my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and my Apple Watch. Goes without saying what those two do. I also bought extra batteries for my Nikon D850, and I bought rechargeable batteries for the Godox Flash. So pretty much that's what I brought with me to Houston. I kept it real simple, real compact. Anything else you would've got would've added or subtracted? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, this is your boy Shots by Pat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button because I'm about to be more consistent with the stuff that I produce, all right? I'll catch y'all guys in the next one. Peace.